Hello, this is Saul Goodman. Now he's my bank character for Samadan and he started his journey with one gold from Samadan and one gold from earning through leveling up to level 10 we are now and has been investing his money and I thought I'd go through and show you exactly what he's been doing. It's basically an enchanting tailoring shuffle that at this point in hardcore is really handy um, and worth doing because in hardcore the outside world is dangerous and this is very safe. It's it's boring and it is very dependent on whether you have an opportunity to actually buy anything or not. So the first thing I do in a situation like this is I'll go on check the auctioneer. I have a few TSM groups here that I've set up. Um, these are all available on my Patreon. So basically the early tailoring enchanting shuffles are the greater magic essence, the lesser magic essence, linen cloth and stranger strange dust all under a certain price. So my first scan is to have a look at that and see if there's anything we can actually buy. So there's not a lot here at the moment. Pickings are slim. There's seven linen cloth and strange dust. 135 is a little bit high based on the time it takes to do stuff. But some of these lower ones I'd pick up. The 20 there certainly. Let's grab another. Actually let's grab all of those. 20 and 10, 113, 14, 16. It's probably still some money to be made out of those. You're getting about half a silver profit per two strange dust at that sort of price. So it's not huge, uh, but it does add up. So with those bought, I would then go over to my mailbox. So basically what we're doing here is we're buying any linen cloth and turning that into bolts and then turning that into brown linen robes, disenchanting those. Uh, so what have we got? Yeah, we've got the seven linen cloth, the rest is all strange dust. So I'd go through that and then next stage is open up tailoring and any of those. I've maxed out um, enchanting and tailoring. That this is why I'm level 10, is so that I can get the journeyman um, level of uh, tailoring and enchanting. Because level 5 is your first level, and then the second level is Apprentice, I think it is, which is what I've got unlocked here. So bolts of linen cloth, create all of those, would be the first stage. I do this in Stormwind because it's all handy, all the vendors are all, all nearby. So we've got six bolts, so that's enough to make two... Uh, linen robes because it takes three so you divide the six by three and so go straight over here to our trade supplies Edna Best deals in all of Stormwind, my friend. Won't and find Edna now, will give us uh, so we've got coarse thread we need one for each robe so we just need uh, two coarse threads just buy those up and then we'll go to tailoring and we can make our brown linen robes create all of those so if you've got like a whole load of these, you can just leave them going, go off and do something else, watch something else. Automatically the TSM destroying um, window has appeared. I've got a macro for that down here, so I can turn it on and off if I need to. I will then use my scroll wheel macro to disenchant all the robes that I have. So I've only got two here. And we just got strange dust out of that. I did have a chance of getting... Uh, lesser magic essence from that. If I did get any lesser magic essences, I would collect all those up. Any that um, I get the more than three, I will right click those and convert those into greater magic essences until I've got uh, as many as I can. And then whichever distribution between greater magic essence and lesser magic essence, I'd count all of those up. Then I would go over to this chat over here, Thurman. And I'll go to the second page and go for simple wood and I'll buy as many um, simple wood as I needed for the um, greater or lesser magic essence. And with those, I would then be able to go into my enchanting and make lesser magic ones or greater magic ones. I was able to completely skill up uh, to 150 in enchanting for a, for a profit at the moment. So there's the lesser magic essence there, greater magic essence for that one. That's where the biggest profit is from the linen cloth through to um, 
through to the ones um, if you're lucky it all depends on what you get so the strange dust we could try selling it but we can get a bit more profit out of that if we go across the street over to our friends in the apothecary say hello to morgan pestle there and so this guy keldrick is the person we need to speak to and he has maple seeds and uh, empty vials and with those we can make minor wizard oil so we need two strange dust per one of those so looking at our bags we have exactly a hundred strange dust so we need to buy 50 each of the other reagents so I'll use TSM for this and I will go through and I'll go to the empty vials and I'll shift right click onto that and I'll type in 50 so I can buy more than the stack you can even buy partial stacks with this so if you need 57 or something like that you type that in and you'll buy exactly 57 so it's really handy just buy the exact ones you need so 50 of those and then the maple seeds shift right click that 50 of those they're quite expensive they cost me a gold for those 50 go back to the wow interface and i've got dejunk the add-on added here and i've whitelisted all the ones the greater and lesser magic ones and i've whitelisted the uh, minor wizard oil so i can bring up the dejunk window here and i can start making the minor wizard oil and you can see it appear here and the dejunk just means that i can mass sell everything from my bags with one click now there's no enchant ore on this so you have to wait till the uh, the bar gets to the end and then click rapidly a few times and you get the next one now this does take a while so this is the boring part it's not a huge amount of profit it's not um it's not particularly fun it's quite boring you're just managing inventory here but the key thing here is it's safe so it's something you can do on a second screen whilst you're watching something else on tv it's just like a small easy thing it all is dependent on your linen cloth being ideally under 25 copper so what's going to happen as um hardcore gains in maturity it's got the the general prices are going to get higher and higher so these kind of opportunities are going to disappear but this kind of technique is just as useful uh, at the beginning of like the new um, season of discovery that's coming you could use this exact same technique just to give yourself some seed gold you can see here already i'm at 23 gold on a uh, saul goodman here now considering i started with two gold uh, a lot of time has been spent doing this i'm not going to downplay that this is this is boring it takes a lot of time so it's not a get rich quick scheme scheme but it does give you steady income at times when you're not actively playing it would be much easier to go away and um, on your main character and carry on leveling up so once you've passed level 40 or something like that, there's much much better ways of making gold but in terms of getting started this is a great great technique just to get some seed gold going because in those early levels just the first few gold is really hard to come by the other things i have been doing with saul is now that i've got over 10 gold once i got to about the 15 gold mark i started investigating in a few little minor commodity flips uh, so i've been having a look at sort of like the herbs and the um, ores and things like that it's very difficult to gauge the market prices because there's kind of a glut of the early herbs compared to the region average so you have to look at the uh, the different prices i'm looking at an average between the min buyout the db recent and the db market i'm not looking at the db region market average because that includes all the other era servers that are way more mature and way more established so that's my secondary gold making method but this is the main one really that i've managed to get most of this gold with uh here which is you know a great start uh, this doesn't even include the fact that I made some um, some woolen gear for Samadan to help him out on his journey. So it's it's a fun little thing, but it's it is reliant on on linen cloth being a decent price. I mean, yes, you can find some good prices of uh, greater magic essence or lesser magic essence and strange dust. And you might even be able to do a disenchanting search and get uh, some items that way as well. But for a bank character, having tailoring and enchanting, this is a really, really good method. So this is currently one, 
So I should have made a note of the gold I started with, actually. I'd suggest you go back to the beginning of the video and have a look at how much gold I started with and then tell me how much I made at the end, because it won't be a huge amount. Um, it'll probably only be sort of like 50 silver or something like that with this amount of materials. It really pays for itself a bit more, um, like I said, when you can get a decent chunk of linen cloth uh, for a good price. But it doesn't take too long. Um, do it in small chunks. Um, I'm just about to fill my bags up. So this is the good thing about de-junk, is literally you can sell beyond the basic, I think is it 12? It'll just keep on selling everything. Until I've emptied my bags of all the things, and I can carry on enchanting the last eight, and then I'll be done. So it's a very, very simple routine, but it works really, really well. So uh, I'll have this, uh, these TSM groups I'll put in my paste bin, um, not my paste bin, I'll put on my Patreon um, and make those available. Which is a really handy way to do a quick shopping search, shopping search. And don't forget, this is also, this is just Alliance. Uh, have a look at the markets on the Horde side. Even though you're on the same server, the, the auction houses are different. So they may be, uh, there's like four servers. Um, we Each one of the Alliance and the Horde. So there's eight different markets you could do this on. If you count them all up, uh, both uh, US and EU. Or four per region. There we go. So we're up to 26 gold 20. Um, can't remember where we were before. Let's have a look at TSM. Not sure if it will register it uh, last day. Yeah, it's because it rounds, it's down to the nearest gold. It's not gonna it's not gonna go up, but it's a, it's a small amount. I think we we're just below um, 26 gold. So we're now just gained like, uh, I think it was 50 silver or something like that. But it's easy, it's simple and it's safe. Uh, and that's the main thing. So I hope you found that useful. It's really, really as simple um, and obviously dependent on the price of your linen cloth. But uh, that's what Saul's been doing. Um, going from 2 to 26 gold I think is pretty good. Um, I will caveat that is it has taken me a long time and looking out for opportunities there. Usually I'll go back and have a little check um, before logging off just in case there's anything new come up. Uh, we've got a little bit of strange dust there at 135. I might just leave that there. I mean, you could still make a profit at 145. So I've actually manually taken mine down a little bit because it does take a long time. It's mainly going to bother with it if it takes a short amount of time. But that's pretty good. Um, and then my commodities flipping, go through and have a look at those. Sometimes there'll be quite something good um, in that lot. BOEs, I've got a few different ones. These are quite expensive. I did try the Black and Defy stuff, didn't really get anything good out of that. Um, top tier twink gear and stuff from Shadowfan Keep just gives you an idea as to the stuff that's selling. This is obviously a lot uh, higher in gold value. So uh, flips, you're gonna with 26 gold, you're only gonna have a little bit of chance of maybe flipping the lower items. But it depends on how many they are there are. And I'm not sure whether I want to risk it at this point because look, there's quite a few of them there. And um, before you get them onto a, a decent flipping amount, so I would be I'd be wary of using those at this point, but uh, they're all there. Um, use as you will. Um, but there we go. Quick and easy video, but I hope that's useful. Um, hope it gets you started. Uh, not necessarily in hardcore, because uh, a lot of people have moved on um, and already have characters that are way higher level and have way better ways of making gold than just this simple early stuff. But this would be really useful for a uh, season of discovery and any new servers that come out. So. Uh, Till next time, happy gold making, and I'll see you very soon.